What is up, you bunch of savages? Oh no, that's my other channel. You are watching this because you are uh, you are here to see my progress to do with um, uh, drones, FPV drones particularly. But I'll I'm okay with any kind of drones. But I am wanting to learn FPV. Now, um, some of you are from the 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 um, Savage Mister channel. And I appreciate you wanting to come over here and see what's doing. Now, if any of you know anything about drones, you've got any kind of tips for me, I'm open to it all because I want to learn everything I can. Uh, the last thing, my last videos was all about my Tiny Hawk and how I lost the damn thing on the first flight outside kind of thing. And uh, went out, kept looking for it as you saw, couldn't find it. So I went and sprung for the Tiny Hawk 2 because all I had was the Tiny Hawk 1 bundle that had the, oh, pardon my squeaky chair, that had the, E6 controller here and the goggles that came with it and my problem with these goggles is that they don't have a way to record the footage so I also upgraded my goggle situation and I got the Esheen EV800D right there so you can put an SD card in there boom or micro SD card TF card whatever and record your flights but this thing, I guess this is the, the things that come with it. Um, antennas, whatever it is. I don't know all the jargon. But um, they're not that great because it, it gets just a little bit away from me and it starts losing um, the image. So um, it might be, it might be upgrading. Well, I still need to get another controller because that E6 was the only one that I got. So I'm looking to upgrade that. Uh, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do just yet. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go back from this point and show y'all, I'll show you some of my progress with this thing, the Tiny Hawk 2. I'm still not good with it, but this is my progress. So this is mostly for me, but if you wanna watch, please do. All right, let's get into it. Okay, bad news. Um, I found out by, from some people on this uh, really cool, um, DFW drone community, I believe they're called. Um, and I asked the question, why can't I bind this thing? So apparently, even though this is the controller transmitter for that came with the um, Tiny Hawk 1 bundle, and that's the Tiny Hawk 2, they can't bind together for some reason. I was told, told by somebody on here, nope, you need to get a Spectrum controller. Crap, I'm just trying to avoid spending more money. But anyway, so that looks like, looks like the next thing that I do. I'm never going to get in the air. Oh my gosh. All right. Hmm. I'll keep you posted. Three weeks later. I don't know how long it's going to take to get one. I need the money first. I was complaining about how I could not bind the Tiny Hawk 2 to the E6 Emacs controller that comes with the regular Tiny Hawk bundle. I figured it out on my own. I went to... Uh, loads of places and asked the question. The one answer that I got back from somebody was that you can't bind them. And I was like, but it's responding. Whenever I flip these things around, this thing the light was responding to, you know. So, but, uh, right. So, when I finally got the thing to bind, I plugged this thing into here. Oh, there we go. Finally. All right. So now I am plugged in. I'll let that sort of sit right there on the this box. And whenever I go into uh, beta flight right here and push connect, it pulls up the thing. And whenever I go to, was it receiver? It pulls up these things. And whenever I would push, this basically was the, um, was the throttle. And not even up and down, but more this way. Look at this. Whenever I go left to right, it's going to make the throttle, look at that, left to right, and that's the throttle. That is weird. So it was, it was, yeah, it was all weird like that. So this is pitch, back and forth, as you can see, and then side to side is yaw, like it would be anyway, even though I don't want it that way. I want the roll over here and the yaw over there, but whatever the case. And then this would be roll up and down. Yep. So, and uh, I just, I, I thought, well, mine's not a Spectrum, it's a uh, FR Sky. So I clicked FR Sky, and as soon as I went save, boom, I got the throttle where it belongs. Even though I do want the 
yaw on the other stick. Like I say, I want mode four, but I I can't. I don't know how to do that. I'm still working. At least I did that. This was a this was an absolute. Um, what do you call it? This was a miracle that I could do this. So I'll go ahead and uh, push disconnect and get it out. Um, I don't really want to learn this way because I want the roll and the yaw on opposite sides. I want it more like a uh, like playing a video game, a first person shooter, like Halo or something. Stumbled upon a video uh, dealing with changing or switching yaw and roll. I've had people say, nope, you're going to have to get another controller. This controller is not going to do it, like I've said to y'all. I found a video where a guy showed. All right, finally got it plugged in and to recognize it. And you go to, well, after you connect it, of course. And you go to a receiver right over here where it's uh, e a e t r one two three. You basically make it where it is r e t a. It'll be r e t a, and you click save, boom, and then that changes the the. Uh, it puts the roll on the left stick, east and west, and puts the yaw on the right stick, east and west. So, yep, that's how you do it, apparently.